Oh, I am live. <laughs> oh, <my> God, <laughs> do our do own intro. Ah! <laughs> Meetings. I'm live. And I'm Scandal. Uh, and let's, let's play, play a game, game together. together. Oh, my God. And it's downloading. <laughs> it's downloading. Why is it always downloading? I don't know. Lily's garden <laughs> needs to download 900 things. <laughs> it's because I, it went, I'm going to love this intro. Let's bork it up. <laughs> Barking of the intro. Bark, bark, bark. <laughs> oh no, it's a day one reward. Oh boy, we well, missed. A day one starts in the middle of the night, don't you know? It's my I, favorite. Ah, uh, the Rocket Ruckus again. So that is one of the few events that they have on here. The events are sort of limited in that they don't do anything except give you power ups. And I find that kind of disappointing based on that other games of this style, the sort of match three, tell a story when you beat the puzzle by paying stars style of game, other ones have more to it. Like my museum, even where it falls short, right. does actually offer additional things to do right. and to build and develop of your game where it has a non-game oriented uh, like gallery progression that you can spend your time However, on. you could say as a positive that I would at least find would be really that the game itself doesn't have any ads. So this is one thing we keep being constantly, honestly, really surprised about. Lily Gar Lily's Garden really just doesn't have ads, and it's strange. It is wild how strange it is. I'm not looking to play. I'm looking to move forward. Can, Thank can you. We Thank you. We gotta start the new day. Well, welcome back, and this is episode three of Lily's Garden. First one being about, man, the ads for this game, because wow. Wow, And yep. second one being, hey, let's see where this story actually goes. So we're gonna go a little bit farther with the story and see what happens on this new day. day. All right, since we've got 90 I, Oh, no. Uh, uh, all right. <clears throat> what do you think? Do the lights li live up to your expectations? Yeah, yeah, they kind of do. All Especially right. like, oh, I forget his name, accent. God, it's true. Yeah, yeah they kind of do. <laughs> All right, I I love the little fireflies and it's, the giant moon and it's everything. Pretty. It's ridiculous, but it's it's ridiculous. Yeah. Hey, I'm sorry about earlier butting in on your private life like that. No, it's okay. Really, I owed you an explanation anyway. These days in Corda. I've laid some of my Australian foot laid bare. I'm having a hell of a time, you guys. You're going to have to excuse me. You can do this, you can do it. But I'm full of surprises. I'm sure I'll find some new faults before long. <laughs> Sometimes the other accents, they creep up. It's fine. It. I've lost hey, it. Hey, you need to be nicer to yourself. You'll figure all this stuff out. I think it's because I was mentally preparing myself to play Julian. And uh, I can't do it. Right. You can't do it. I can't do so, it. If you've been, if you've seen our Arcana series, there is some strong accents in there. Let me tell you, it's true. And in the meantime, I don't know if a guy who was made entirely of faults would be helping his dumpy neighbor with odd jobs. Actually, that's completely not true. I. But it's fine. Okay. Like we've actually had a discussion of going. Like it is one of those things that socially a lot of people are very inclined to do because you're not connected to that other person's struggles really at all, and it's much easier to just be like, oh, this thing needs to get done, and, it's and then then you can follow through with that mm. like almost instantly. I mean, you can argue that someone isn't entirely made of faults if they will help people, but in in that same vein of going, even if their own life is a total absolute heckin' disaster, if right. you will, that it's still easier to help other people than deal with your own problems, which is a merit, but it's also a form of escapism. Yeah. Not but, but, and it's also a form and, of escapism. Yep. It's both. Because we're not meaning to invalidate. So that's actually one of those fun little grammatical things. So if anybody ever goes, here's this thing, but, but it tends to be read and usually is used to completely discredit everything that came before it. So one can have their life in a chaos storm of mess and help others, and it can be a coping mechanism. Yep without necessarily speaking to the rest of their life and their ability to handle their own issues. Oh, yeah. People can be really garbage dumpster fires in regards to taking care of themselves, and they can do great at helping other people. And sometimes, Like, wow. Because like, the thing is, is they're running away from so much in their lives <laughs> that they're just like, you! I can help you! But why do you look at yourself? No, I hate mirrors! Goodbye! Bye! <laughs> um, you ain't dumpy, miss. Be nice to yourself. Luke? Thanks, for fixing stuff. Despite making a mess out of the yard! Anyway, it's fine. I wasted my stars! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching my dog, lady. Yeah, sorry I lost her for an entire episode. I mean, in a whole day. I mean, didn't even notice. Forgot to check on your garage, too, but I... It's fine. And your car. <sighs> your car. Hmm. Damn. I'm just gonna watch the lights on a little... on the water a little longer, if that's okay. Well, given that I don't have any security on my outside, as is, you know, yeah. not really required, um, you're welcome to stay here as long as you'd like. Yeah, sir. pretty much. As long as you want. Hey! Uh -huh. 
Yay! Nice. I love it. Okay, nice. well, that was a much faster download. Oh, Thanks thank for God. that. All right, <clears throat> day six. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Only two knocks. There we go. <laughs> also, why does she suddenly have purple glasses when she's... Did you have huh? They're purple? purple. It's, no, it's, the color is like a different. magenta. They are. Yeah, but, but it's, it's more hard red. To, it's hard to tell with the condensed and also the, the nearby colors. Jeez, it's um, 6 a.m. I've only been getting up at 6 a.m. for days now. Who is knocking on my... Yeah, I know, and having to wake up other people. <laughs> I'm awake, so stop knocking already. Leans head out of window. Out of window. <laughs> Well, you woke me up early. Sorry, Lyle's grandpa and sister that we got to get here early. And besides, last time you called, it was at 2 a.m., so right? <laughs> like, damn. <laughs> Sunrise, exactly. No, it's fine. I just slept in my clothes and wear the same thing every day, so you're good. Yeah, you're oh. fine. Wow, the I... butt. Whoa. There's a lot of booty game the here. The booty game so much is, booty like, game. wild. Like, dude. Okay, I'm fine. Like, those are some fitted overalls, oh, my like, friend. Like, dude. pap. I never had overalls like that in my entire experience, so no, I'm fine. It's, it's fine. A, oh, <laughs> just haven't had a good night's sleep since. Mm. Ah, Balderdash, you can sleep when you get old, Miss Roberts. Eh, let's hurry up. I have a lot of ground to cover for today's inspection. And suddenly he's so much friendlier because his, you know, granddaughter's here. Catch you later. I'll take a swing at the old swing by the pond. Hey. And I'm going to take all this wood with me. I'm going to take all these supplies, supplies and screws and chains. Let me, and... and let me haul the old swing out of there. Yeah, it's fine. <sighs> Miss Roberts? Mm, what? Oh, right. Inspection time. It's Also, again, we didn't establish. Days. It's been six days. Mm. But my biggest problem with this really is, is that he hasn't established a schedule at all. Mm -mm. He's just literally dropping in and then leaving again. I'm like, that's really in inappropriate and unprofessional. He also hasn't established any standards. Again, we still haven't seen any paperwork. We're going to mention paperwork like nine times throughout this week. Do we have any proof of this? No, nope, just his word. Well, that's good enough. We don't know him. I love it. In this world, you just take and everybody. Also, he's not giving us any standards other than do I like it or not. We have to please an impartial and capricious lawyer entity. No kidding. Like a god. All right, well, that's new task to do. Show him that. You or know restore what? the tree swing. We're going to avoid our problems. We, yes! She's, she's been avoiding her problems. We're going to do it. We're going to still do it. Yep. <sighs> hey, Liz, my grandpa driving you crazy? Nope, just avoiding him like the plague. Well, maybe a little. How's it going with the old swing? <laughs> she's like, I ran away. <laughs> well, it's become a termite tavern with not the usual termite, you know, indicators on here, but I know it's there with regulars. I need to replace the whole thing. Well, we knew that. Even without the termites, it's not like you're going to reuse all the broken and splintered wood. No kidding. Can we seal it when we're done, though? Because that'd be useful. That'd be incredibly useful. Oh, hey, I found this old photo in the hollow tree. What do you make of it? I'm so glad you were brave enough to just shove your hand into the shadow of the hollow tree when you went, there's something in there. You know what I'm talking about? Horror fuel? <laughs> when you're alone. All right, everybody in the comments, who stuck their hands into hollow trees as a part of a dare? Like, like that was everywhere when I was ah. a kid. You're like, ah! Hey, that's your grandpa and my great aunt. Hard to tell how old they are here. Middle-aged, at least. That also looks very familiar. I was about to I... say. Very familiar. Like, and that's okay. I've seen really good, you know, well, basically friends is, where they're really like, I'm hugging you, I'm crawled in your lap or whatever else. And it's like, that's fine. It can be. Also, other things to know, since the uh, cousin that we're dealing with is a stepson, that could have been her first husband. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But I was just like, that's... That's 1985. So that's I don't know when they the were seeming like they were older. Second, but yeah. Oh, maybe? I don't know. Maybe she was married three or four times. Or maybe. had several, you know, passionate lovers. She seemed like a firecracker. She did. Hmm, they're looking pretty cozy, aren't they? It's there. The implication's oh, okay, there. Okay, you're there. Going, but I didn't know this part of my great aunt's life. Oh, a little too cozy, if you ask me. They were both still married at the time, and not to each other. On the other hand, that or can some people be friendship. socially. Yeah, it can't. Like, like scandal has a point here that that can be a friendship behavior. And as long as your partners understand the boundaries that you have as friends, uh -huh. then you're fine. Like, it really is. And also being honest with each other. If you're going, hey, like, it might sound awkward to have a conversation with your friend going, excuse me, excuse me, Gregory, I need to tell you that I am attracted to you sometimes, and that's okay, but I would like to continue, like, to continue just having a friendship with you, but I also recognize that I have these feelings, and this is not to say that we need to act on them, but it is something that I need to be aware of, because I could potentially go too far, or if I, so if I get awkward, or if I do anything dumb, like, you, I could be too casual, uh, and I don't yeah. want to be. And also going, if you could help me in making sure, like, if you have any responses, like, I would like to know so we can keep this basically on a level where we're both comfortable and I'm not just assuming. 
And it's also platonic, so long as that's where we wish to maintain it. Yes, But exactly. again, if you've made agreements with your partner, stick to those agreements unless you revisit them and redefine them. Yeah, pretty much. So what you're implying is that... They were having an affair. Jeez, Lils! If that's true, isn't it a little weird to, do you know, take pictures of it? Maybe I... they were just good friends. Maybe it was fine. Maybe it was actually being campy and exaggerated for the picture. It's true. You actually don't know the context of that. You better have a good explanation. Well, first things first, pick a new swing design. And again, in some ways, like, I, I kind of can see basically, uh, oh gosh, I can't even remember her, her name and I was just looking at it. I'm sorry, the the, the, the lovely, you know, uh, carpenter mechanic, yes. et cetera, woman jack of all trades. Yeah. That's amazing and keeps hitting on our main character here. Um, but sort of softly. That's very cute. Um, I think the woodland looks way more comfortable than this one. And I, I know, I like the squishy. squishy. That one looks like Let's the... go for squishy. It's I... not on the ground, so I trust the wicker more. Yeah. All right, there we go. We'll choose the first wicker choice. Right, but I can also see like her background of going, so socially you might have an experience of going, I'm more suspicious of the guy than I am of the woman in the situation. Now, that does not to say that there aren't two people involved in that relationship. Like, I always find it to be really funny where they're like, here's my jealousy scenario, and here's my love triangle, and you were, you were with them, and it's like, there were two people in that room. Mm -hmm. Like, I get it where you could go, you might be making the assumption then that the other person was being assaulted. I, as long as it's but, not assault, yeah. um, and we don't have something legal to address and deal right? with, both parties had to make choices together. And while one may have, you know, driven it more than the other, it does take two people to have some sort of thing. Uh -huh. We're going to wax really philosophical That's relationship fine. today. So it's swing-tastic. I did, nice. So I'd say that the pond looks presentable now. Oh, just presentable. Just Thanks. while your grandpa's we finally here. We so hard on that. Right. Huh, definitely. I'll go get grandpa. Oh, God, she's I calling mean, him grandpa. Mr. Jones. I clearly see she wants to date everyone. It's fine. It's all right. It's a dating sim. We know that. Under the veneer of a puzzle game, it's just a dating sim. Dang. You saw the ads. Yeah, you did. I mean, and there were way more ads than we played. Hi. We just played with the ads that didn't actually fit the mechanics well. Oh, they're so weird. Ah, excellent work on the walkway, Miss Roberts. I'll give it a four out of five hearts. What is this hearts rating scale anyway, sir? Hearts? hearts? What happened to... Yes! Oh, my God! <laughs> what happened to the star ratings, Mr. Jones? Well, I had a very nice breakfast with my granddaughter this morning. I'm more in a hot mood in the morning. Mooded, booted, booted. I see. In a woo ba doo kind of mood. Happy doo ba doo. And I just remembered what it was like to be there and be happy. It was great. I had a, right. a hot mood. I'm still like, that. see? Emotional and capricious deity judging our choices. Yeah, pretty much. Mm, yes. Oh, dear. Do you like flamingos? I hope so. You need to be more thorough, Miss Roberts. See those trees? No, because we're in a cutscene. No. Oh, there we are. They're, They're too... too... Green? Hey. <laughs> I... Huh? I only see one tree there. Yeah, I know. Like, so... it is... So maybe she's going, squinting going, Are there more than one tree? <laughs> I... Shoot, let me walk off my glasses. I... Hang on. Let me... If I squint and squeeze my eyes together, look, they fragment in my vision and I, I can see multiple I'll trees. Just, I'll just put my hand between my eyes. And, oh, look, two trees. Oh, they're not supposed to be this tall. They block out precious sunlight for the flowers. Oh, because that's a south-facing flower bed and the tree's blocking the sun. Cool. Right. Again, we don't have any standards or any paperwork, but thanks. It's fine. Oh, yeah, I suppose you're right. I'll have to get those thinned out a bit. The one tree thinned out a bit, <laughs> or chopped down a bit, or simply... Something. Something. I could get partial shade flowers. I could replace yeah. them based on that. Some flowers. I'm also like, like not much is shade. over there. All right, no, we're gonna sorry. trim trees. We're we gonna do this immediately while he's here. We're drag it through the yard. And we are. We're gonna be like, all right, parts. Mr. Jones, look at this. I will prove to you right now that this one tree. I mean, these trees. <laughs> this trees. Tree, this tree. This trees can I will do be trimmed. I do declare this tree. Mm. So you just wanna watch me trim the trees? Well, you could have waited to do it later, but since I still need to inspect the rest of the garden, I guess that's how it's going to go. we got. Your work process is an important factor in my evaluation. I need to see that you have love. Do you love, love. this place like I loved it? In your heart. Uh, okay. Sure. Hmm. <laughs> okay, maybe those are trees over No, there. no, the oh. third branch on the left. Oh, we're doing like topiary trimming ah, now. Yes, hmm, I won't hear. He meant the trees all the way around. May I suggest? No. All right. Well, we got this. What Poof. changed? Oh, we shaped them. 
We did. It wasn't really only my old lake. Well, but they're they're now basically turned into you know more domes. I love the idea that we are elevating ourselves somehow through some ungodly force to reach the top of some of these trees because we didn't have a ladder. Well, we didn't have. Yeah, we really <laughs> just we just she, floated. We stood mm, on his shoulders mm. for the top of the trees, and when that wasn't high enough, we brought his granddaughter over and stood on her shoulders, and we all just teetered over and trimmed. It was very and good. And he was on the very bottom, supporting us all with his hearts, just like you know. <laughs> <laughs> the um the the figurehead of your family should do. Oh God! <laughs> the patriarchy is supporting us all. Oh. Oh, just ignore that one. Okay. <laughs> all done. <laughs> Yay! I think that should do it. But I believe we have another issue in the garden. Oh great! An issue? Now what? Another one? Now what? You're reading my dialogue before it comes I up. know! Stop being psychic about my dialogue. I'm sorry, I love your dialogue though. You haven't noticed? There are a lot more bees than there were before, thanks to all the flowers you planted. Because they multiplied in five days to visibly Six. recognizable quantities. Well, he was here on the first day. I'm so also like, yeah, that's ridiculous. That. Also, like, that's not a bad thing. Do you know actually how many bees can be in a single hive? Like, damn. Many, many. However, who knows what he wants? Oh, you're right. They look a little overcrowded in that hive. Let me build bees six more. Off of what standard? Have you ever raised bees before, honey? What are we talking about? Does she like Google everything and go, I am Instagod? Have you raised bees before, honey? <laughs> you know what, darling? That was so lovely. I'm going to give you that one for free. <laughs> or just don't, don't sting me for it. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't think you'll nectarine around much. <laughs> just, you just won't let this buzz go? Oh, no. In fact, I'm very good at flapping along. <laughs> Perhaps an expansion is in order. Because that's clearly about the house and the grounds. And you want it right now, I assume. At least, well, if you don't mind. Since I can simply snap my fingers and do it, um, since or, money or, is not an obstacle, or go to a fade to black scene with a time suggestion. I think we can do this. Yeah, let's do it. Fade to black, it is. All right. I love fade to black. It's my favorite real Expand world mechanic. Expand beehive with a hammer. Hammer. Pep, pep, pep. When, Look, it's when expanded. All you have is a hammer. All your problems oh look like nails. Okay, Mr. Jones, I'm going for five out of five hearts here. Got any pointers? Thank God. Knock, knock. Yes. Uh, who's there? Your intuition, Miss Roberts. Use it, except I've been using it the whole time and you keep judging the crap out of me, sir. I, those don't look like, oh, that looks cool. That looks cool as crap. We wouldn't be able to get to the back ever, but that's I don't fine. care. You wouldn't oh be able to get God. to the None of those look as big enough. This is the only one that really looks like an expansion. I know. They just look more decorative. That like, that silly. one's interesting. I, I like, like it. That. I'm for it. Hexagonal we go. Woo. Here you go. Fuzzy buddies, 10 floors, penthouse suites, and 120,000 bathrooms. Ah, how nice to watch a professional at work here again. Five hearts, Miss Roberts. Do they what? Why did I give the bees indoor plumbing? Remind me why they need indoor plumbing. Don't they go outside? Hi. Well, they have it now. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> just for you. I don't know if you could call me a professional at any of this. Uh, honey, you are amazing. Yes, <laughs> you, wow, you damn. Think Mary would have just trusted anyone with this place? It's not as if you were first in line to inherit. Honestly, I like the fact, as weird as it sounds, there's some weird crap in here of going, now there's an implication that there might have been an affair going on. Like, the weird level of, like, intense social story, and then it drops into some incredibly trite, tropey crap. Like, there are some... Is am whiplash-inducing. Amazing, concerning, like, derogatory, like, archetypes stereotypes in here and at the same time they have this interesting complex stuff as well going people are using their hearts and they're thinking about things and you know we're trying to get the best candidate for whatever and it's just it's a little it is a bit of whiplash uh-huh i hadn't really thought about that there would have been mom maybe even other relatives i don't know about you haven't mentioned your mom once in your whole life holy shit <laughs> our whole life of being with you for six days i have no idea who your I mom know, is but i just don't like... know you had one i thought you sprang forth from the ethereal womb uh, pretty much you just existed to break up with your boyfriend have the worst possible day and then give us this game no kidding indeed but here you are and i assure you it's no accident and it's just like watching her work except oh. you've been shitty on all well, all we thought they met him once. He might have had a really bad day that day. You never know. Oh, it's true. It's it true. doesn't mean that he shouldn't apologize or basically recognize his own behavior. Uh -huh. However, people can have really bad days. It's true. Now, I believe the bees are pleased with their new living space. I'm <laughs> glad you're a bee speaker. 
Speaker for the bees. <laughs> <laughs> I speak for the bees. <laughs> I immediately want to draw this guy as the Lord. I'm the bee rex and I speak for the bees. <laughs> <laughs> ah! so shall, shall we go on? Shall Barf. <laughs> Barf. You know, I think that dog is dead. I think the dog, dog is gone. <laughs> the <laughs> dog is MIA. Two days we haven't seen the dog that we're watching. Like that. Them. He was supposed to leave. I, I love the rainbow bridges. They're so I, ridiculous they're so, and fun. Yeah, yeah, they are. As you can see, the Dazzle Factory is through the roof, Mr. Jones. Look at those fountains, new pumps and all. And, you know, not too many gnomes as to be garish. And, well, the gazebo doesn't have a roof, but we fixed that with vines. And plants. Ah, yes, lovely, lovely flowers. And, uh, oh, dear. Yes, you will get rained on the gazebo. Just bring an umbrella or sit in the sun. It's okay. No kidding. What have you done to the gazebo? I, I, er, I, I love it. <laughs> Just kidding. There we go. You've done a wonderful job there, Miss Roberts. I'm about ready. Dude, you have so much power over this person. So this is I... the one mechanic that I usually get bothered about in real world situations where mm. you've got to realize when you're talking with somebody who has that much authority over you and them joking about potentially like you like losing something like and it mm. could compromise your job or her living situation, right? No like, one should turn into Walt Disney and hide a threat inside a joke. No kidding. Like the level of sort of like And if you're not familiar uh, with that reference, there's a really lovely video that covers it's called like the greatest party there ever was or parties that changed the like the Walt Disney party that changed the world or something like that. Something I can't like it's that. from Defunct Land. It is on so, YouTube. It on was very YouTube. interesting. Now I don't know how accurate it is in all of its We didn't check pieces. all the sourcing, but it did source things, but it, there is a common theme with Walt Disney as a boss and a leader is that he would always try to be congenial uh -huh. and he would he would hide threats he in comedy. He would vague comedy. blog at people. He would vague blog. He would veil all of his threats in comedy, in you know friendliness, in chummery. And this kind of power dynamic and imbalance where somebody holds a clear threat over your head, such as I could take away your house or property with no really, basically a right to work kind of thing if I could just fire you because I want to. Right is really terrifying, and especially uh -huh. since she doesn't really have anywhere to go. And also the fact that she did abandon everything in her life. Yeah. And also the thing, he, we have no paperwork. We don't know what the standards are. This is very, like, I know it's supposed to be lighthearted, but this to me also reads as very scary, because, again, I don't know what he's like as a person, even if you know his granddaughter, which doesn't mean that you know him. They're actually very separate and distinct people. And that comes to the last piece um, in reference to Scandal's point here, that... He's acting very, very familiar with her. Yes. And using a playful kind of joke that usually is only gotten by someone who knows your sense of humor. Right. So if you're going to use a playful non-threat, but in a, you know, a, a mocking threat or a sarcastic threat, someone needs to know who you are before you do that, or they can take it very seriously. Yeah. And even if you go, well, yeah, but it's funny if they're gullible, that is at their expense and is not helpful to them. And it reminds me of my mom. Mm. <clears throat> but, uh... Where are the goldfish? Well, you see, I didn't install a filter or a pump, so the water's stagnant, so I didn't think I should put live fish in there. Like, that sounds sort of... Oh, I mean, it makes sense that they'd be in the little pool there. Yeah, if they were anywhere. I mean, what goldfish? Should I check the house? Did I miss something? They're just goldfish eggs. Oh. Oh, God. There was one we named Mr. Bubbles. Was always the first time, first of feeding time, that one. Such a commotion. So basically, so... I want giant-ass koi that are, have you, okay, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the videos, but I really like them where there's this little kid who's in a Japanese garden with, like, tons of koi in their family pond, and constantly he keeps either, like, petting them or feeding them, and then there's another video where the small child has actually got their feet over the edge. and it's, In like, the water? Yeah, in the water, and he's, like, pouring fish food over his feet. So all the fish are, like, noobling out over his feet while he's feeding yeah, they're just <laughs> just kissing at his feet and, and just gnawing and blah, 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 blah. Just his anyway, soft little lippy faces. They're so say, cute. I, I'm getting really morbid here staring at this and going, Oh, you mean when I swept all the dirt out of there before I put the water back in? Those were goldfish corpses? Whoops. Hi. Uh, sorry. My mistake. Such a commotion. Well, I can definitely repopulate the pond because I can create life as well as build beehives. But I'm also like, a, that's not a... Pond. That's more like a weird creek. I don't even know how deep that is. It doesn't even look very deep. It looks about eight to ten inches deep. If they're small goldfish, like goldfish bowl-sized goldfish, they could be okay. You know the funny thing is, is though goldfish actually, so it's uh, they actually, grow to their environment. They really grow to fit their environment. Mm -hmm. So most people actually don't realize that. A lot of those goldfish get huge or can if you get let huge, them go because yeah. they're a carp. So carp oh God, actually right can be very large. Huh. Well, 
I let me just install a filter and a pump and some, you know, good like let me get the water at a nice pH balance and uh, we'll in get those literally uh, put in some, you know, good ten, five seconds. What is it like? Like you need a little bit of salt in the water, but I forget what the name is, like aquarium salt, what have you. Oh, uh, sea salt? No, 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 no. no but salt. I think it's different for an outside pond. But they do have aquarium yeah. salt. Yeah, no, no, no. Anyway. I know what you're talking about? Like rock salt? What? <laughs> uh, are you going to do it? Uh... Uh, right now, I'll need to go to the pet store. You don't actually, what you're going to want to do is go to a fish supplier, so like specifically a fish store, generally. Yeah, they're but actually a little different. If you have a giant, like, <clears throat> all-purpose pet so store. So nice. I'll come along. Oh, great. Are you just sort of like... So we'll just have you in my car. I, okay, what if you drive? No, I'd rather drive and maintain autonomy, but I feel like this is overly familiar and a little bit invasive, just so you know. All right, cool. Place goldfish. Oh, oh look at that. That is like a, a koi. That's totally a koi. That is more of a carp than like a store-bought goldfish. Goldfish. Like, oh. it's okay. We went down to the fish mart and we got us some One fishers. One trip to the pet store later. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, don't forget what they said at the pet store. That you have to condition the water first and introduce them slowly so they don't get temperature shock? Oh, I mean, what? What? Yeah, I remember. Acclimate them slowly. Yes! yes! Well done, game! Score! <laughs> I love it. I love it. The, the things that are thoughtful versus the things that aren't thoughtful in this game are wild. Swim, my pretties! Swim! Uh, <laughs> swim, <laughs> my pretties! Swim! Oh, <laughs> sorry. Looks like everyone's feeling hail and hearty. Who do you think is the new Mr. Bubbles? Well, I don't know, honey bun. We're going to find out here in a minute once we bubbles, pick them. But I can't even see them yet, so... Uh, Hmm, I guess we'll need to feed them to be sure and see who makes bubbles. And who doesn't die. Or who comes to eat first, really, because that's what he said. Aha! Here's a lovely one. Bubbles Jr., I think. Thank you. Now the garden feels right again. I'm like, that's your dialogue. It <laughs> is my dialogue. Damn no. it, don't wag at me. So, right. I wag at you. <laughs> I, I wag at myself, <laughs> actually. And shall we continue? Because you always wag at me. I do. I just go, you do. It's your line. I'm like, it's actually yours. It's actually it's my line. Ding it. Wait, we know <laughs> whose dialogue is whose. We've totally We've looked got it. at this. We don't have any before. goldfish. We're going to inspect the pond. Why aren't there any fish in there? I they want fish graphics. They pick fish. And they didn't let us pick the type of fish or anything. Aw. I'm like, you can't even see them. Maybe we get little bitty tiny ones. Ah, uh, of course you would. I can see Regina's hand handiwork there on the new bridge. Definitely worthy of five hearts. Well, we're so She's glad like, you like your granddaughter's work, jerk. Thanks, Grandpa. I hope you like what we've done with the old double seater over here. Oh, double seaters are great. It actually looks like a triple seater. I was about to say, that looks like a triple seater, not a double seater. Yeah, well, given the, I mean, given the size of the people, maybe a double seater, but it, it looks like a triple seater. Ah, yes, the old swing. Hmm. I can feel the side eye from Regina so hard. <laughs> I right know, now. Like, like, Grandpa, excuse you? Please don't. I. Is he gonna sit? Uh. Um. Mr. Jones? Mm. Oh, right. Three hearts on account of the squeaking. Sometimes swings just squeak, sir. Like, really? But the swing doesn't make a sound. Exactly. The squeaking was part of the charm. Well, jeez. You know, well, let me throw a couple of mice over there. And breaking down, you know, pieces and parts is exactly what I want. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get an app on my phone called Creaking Swing for White Noise, and you can play it while you're sitting. Can we have five hearts then? Yeah, right? Uh -huh. I promise to pack some of that squeaky charm later, Grandpa, because you do not want to know what I'm going to be doing with our new person. <laughs> anyway, you, don't, you don't know what we're going to use this <clears> swing <throat> for. I call uh, my, my husband. <laughs> ha ha, we will, <clears throat> we will break it in. It's I'm lying. You know where they said that that's a three-person seat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> now, I don't suppose you saw any swans yesterday. Nope, just the swamp monster. Oh, I mean... Yeah, no kidding. Nope, only the duck couple over there. It's true. There was a pair that used to nest over there, past the stepping stones. Oh, so, I haven't seen this part of the map. That's really I say, I didn't notice that little guy over there, too. It's oh. true. Past the stepping stones. These are stepping stones. We are going to have to cut some of those gra that grass Yeah, because we have there. to go like, across wow. over that and way. go across. What is yep. also the storage bin? Like, wow. No kidding. Maybe they'd come back if I fixed up their old spot. You might be passive-aggressively suggesting to me. Or you could be friendly. I don't have tonal context. Yeah, who knows? Miss M Mr. Jones? He is having a nostalgia moment. Uh, Mr. Jones. What? Oh, sure, sure. I think he really probably was potentially having an affair, which is interesting. Or it could have been something else. Who uh, knows? I, I mean, we do have some complicated relationship stuff going on here, and unfortunately, for the parties involved who are hurt by it, affairs do happen. They do. Like, no specifically moral ground anyway. Just when people get hurt, it's unfortunate. Go ahead. I'm going to rest my legs for a bit. 
I'm going to give my briefcase the other seat. Oh. That's it. Hitting Mr. Jones right in the feels. Woo doo. All right. I, so we're going to clean clear the small island. It's oh, an island? Wait, wait, what? It's a whole dang island. Island? Oh boy, we're actually gonna ask him about the photo. So I guess having good communication by going, hey, so I would like to understand the context of which what is going on because I feel like there might be some undue either like resentment or anger that might have been brought up, or like where Regina is specifically kind of uh -huh. grouchy. Or you could specifically just not mention Regina and let her have her privacy, but make sure she can hear in the context going, hey, Mr. Jones, can I ask you about this followed out nice and loud so Regina can hear you? Right. That so, can be a thing. Yeah. I've got my rake and my game face on. Watch out, weeds! Here comes the lily train! Sometimes I... she's very endearing, and sometimes Ooh. she's really wild. So is this the next thing box, or is that the next thing box? Oh, What's the oh box? okay, I thought the box was the thing on the lake. I did, too. Oh, whoa. That looks like a chicken hutch, more like... No kidding. Ta-da! Or a rabbit Look at those hutch? rocks, those are adorable. This has to be the biggest birdhouse I've ever seen. That's it! Swans that is... are large, so... It was a doghouse, originally. I see, and then you just decided to have Fido the Swan. I just... Oh, hi, Philip. It was? Oh, yes, but then the swan started nesting in it, so we just rolled with it. Why so was it... you have a doghouse out in the water? <gasps> oh, I didn't even ask that question. Hi, we... you mean you and Aunt Mary? It looks like it could use a good cleaning, and then I'd wager the swans will return. As to say, I'm not going to answer your question. Honestly, they would have cleaned it themselves. Swans can be very diligent about their they nesting, really? as well as <clears throat> very stubborn about returning to the same place every year. Mm -hmm. So if it had collapsed, it's likely they would have just bolstered it on their own. It's pushed out their old nesting material, put in new nesting material, unless something specifically chased them off. And in that case, they may not return at all. Right. Well, let's find out. All right. Now, who's running away so from So if this is an island, then we've got water all around the other side. This is actually a lake. That's wild. That is wild. Birdhouse. Right. Uh, Birdhouse. Running from problems. Let's do it. Goodbye to the serious conversation. I won't confront serious <clears throat> conversations. I'll never face my problems again. Again. Oh, that sure is a lot of bird poop. This is going to take a while. She just walked into the water. She did. She just kneeled in the water, ha! sticky stuff, and with her bare hands, went for it. Lots of bird poop later. Yeah, so much poop. All done, Mr. Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Why the hell is Most that so funny? Poop. <laughs> poop. Most people, most poop. people don't just complain about the poop, but she's like emphasizing it <laughs> so much. Poop. <laughs> She's so exasperated. <laughs> so judgy. And also, like, if they've been gone for years, you would have had bugs and parasites and It would have broken rats, down. It would have decomposed. Like, yeah, the you poop. have water flooding over the area. Like, I... What? What's possible is that he doesn't know right now what the history of this birdhouse has been. They haven't been here since last season, and this is early for them. Maybe, yeah. It's like also... And then there could be some amount of dried poop in there. Like, it shouldn't be sticky after years or months or whatever they've not been. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> okay, so we're five and we're laughing at poop. Hello. Oh, I, I have honest. complex social discussions and then I love poop. <laughs> All right, here we go, Skittle. <laughs> Lovely. Let's wait and see if... <laughs> <laughs> I could do this. I swear to God. Right, you're good, okay. You're good. Lovely. Let's wait for a bit and see if our friends notice a change, shall we? Let's find out. Sure. I could use a little break anyway. Hey, is that? You mean we're not going to repair this thing? You Why wouldn't we? Looking nice. You just want it cleaned? You've got to be kidding. I want it looking nice. Another photo? Oh God. Why did she put these everywhere? It's almost like a scavenger hunt through the cleaning. Yep, there it is. I guess it is. It's a pretty harmless, friendly activity. I'm also songs. like, who are taking these pictures? So I also have to ask, does everybody realize these are Polaroids? Polaroid, as long as it's been around, some of the older photos were really old. Oh. Like, those are Polaroids, though. Polaroid, actually, what was it? It wasn't really in widespread use for I, the thing as is, early as this thing wants to go. So I've been having a problem. I, I know that some Polaroids were older than those, but they just formatted the photos like Polaroids. It's a little wild. I say, but in this case, 
You've got to know that no matter what they were doing, someone was watching them and taking these pictures. Uh -huh. Whether it was Aunt Mary's daughter, or, you know, Protag's mother, or what it was. Like, the thing is, is you've got to know that this isn't an intimate, private moment. It's a moment where someone else is there and capturing it with a photo. Oh, I guess I'm wrong. No, Polaroids are very old. Yeah, 1948. Well, this is, though, just basically in reference. So, excuse me, I googled this. So, guys, picture. So, it's a Polaroid Model 95A is one of the earliest picture-in-a-minute cameras pioneered by land. Polaroid's first camera was put on sale at Jordan Marsh in downtown Boston just before Christmas 1948. Nice. So, that is right. <clears throat> instant the camera. That's fascinating. But I've never seen anyone so happy about it. You know, Indeed, friends can just have Jesus. fun together. People can just have fun together. It's okay. It's fine. Hmm. I wonder who took the picture. What are you doing, Miss Roberts? The swans will never show up if you keep standing out there in the open in a really shitty looking house, but... It's okay, know. I learned how to walk on water and I'm just appreciating it for a second because I'm afraid that once I stop appreciating it, I'll just fall right in. Mm, the galoshes. Mm. Right, coming. I am soaking wet, thanks. Hi. But this implies that the water goes all the way around this thing in a circle, which is kind of wild. Stock the birdhouse? Stock it. I'm all right, going we're gonna to stock follow it. it. I oh near. They're oh. gonna give us a reward. For, for what? By the way, you did half a day, so uh. here you go. This game gives you so many free lives. Honestly, it's very forgiving and no ads. There are there are a couple things that I've continued to say about this game is that it has no ads whatsoever. Uh -huh. And it is really generous with the free lives. So right. as long as you're prepared to pay five and a half hours of free lives in a row, which is what I got shoved into at one point because I kept wailing. I heard the and wailing just... in the other room and I turned around and I was like, what are you doing? It's the, I got this. <laughs> I got more free lives! And I was like, I can't stay here because the 30 minute timer starts immediately, but they stack. You get 30 minutes and you make it through enough levels, you get another 30 minutes. You grow the flower, you get another 30 minutes. You, you know, finish part of the contest, you get another 30 minutes. And it did, it stacked up to five and a half hours and I'm like, can't sit at this tablet impromptu for five and a half hours consecutive playing Lily's Garden. Oh my God! Oh, we have things to do. All right, let's talk at the birdhouse. All right, because we're still avoiding our problems. I we guess we are. We're still letting it ruminate. Honestly, what we're doing is we're taking time to process our thoughts before we react, so we can respond. Which is actually a very good thing sometimes for people to do. Of going like it is sometimes helpful, but it's a learning curve, unfortunately, and sometimes it depends on your scenario. I but don't know. Context is very important. If it's not super time sensitive. Taking a minute when you have a really strong reaction to something to just let it sit in your brain and let yourself go through all the irrational overreacting or just impulsive experiences and then going, okay, now that I've gotten all that out of the way, what do I really think? Right. And then you can still, you know, those feelings are all valid, but they don't make you do something that, you know, either is illogical or that you might regret. Uh huh. Oh, they're checking it out. I. Poof, from nowhere. They oh, are... yes, they remember now. They're also tiny. They are little, they're cute. I feel like they're either wearing necklaces or they are two-part polygon where it looks like their necks are not attached to their bodies. Yeah, that looks really strange. That's a little bit wild. Let's uh, just say necklaces. Necklaces. They wear chokers. Do swans usually nest in places like that, where their whole nest would fall through half of the bottom of the floor and the roof might fall on them, etc., etc.? No kidding. No, they uh, certainly do not. But it was a treat to get to see a swan couple so close, so Mary didn't question it. Did you know many swans are monogamous? Until death, of course. We're gonna play this. The male in this couple lost his original partner some years ago, then found this one after a time. What a fine thing, to know you love someone so much that you'll stay with him as long as life allows. That's, that's quite a thing. And how very fine to get to feel that twice. I... He's like, I... I am that swan. I am that swan. He is. He is sympathizing hard with that swan. Or either that uh, or he's saying that Mary's that swan, which I don't know. He might could be. be. Who knows? Hmm. Uh, Grandpa? Uh, she's going to bring it up. Hmm? Oh, but hello, my dear. Ah, uh, seems our friends have flown off for now. Might be a good time to notice the fact that the models have not gone anywhere, but they're actually still at the top of the screen uh, to, to go do, I mean, some rest and do some repairs. To the nest. nest. Because we didn't want to repair it before we waited to see if they would come back and have them actually be able to, you know, just nest there. Well, but, I mean, I could see possibly not doing that. So in relation to animals, they're very much like creatures of habit. And if they you might change an area, it. yeah, you change an area actually too much, they will freak out sometimes. Mm -hmm. And going, but but it's so much better. It's like, mm, but sometimes it's they different. go, it smells funny, whatever else. you got other things to be concerned about. All right. <clears throat> there we go. Now we're going to stop avoiding our problems. I'll just enjoy the calm water for a little while. I'm going to interrupt your reverie, good sir. All right. Good sir. Oh. Ask about the two photos, actually, not just one at this point. All right. Just so you know. 
Oh, we had to go back here. Oh, I'm not kidding. <laughs> it really does expect a certain order for these things to happen. But I don't know what they are. Sometimes it's a non-intuitive order, because the other one expected us to talk to her before Grandpa, even though it was below the list. Right. And then this one expected you to do the one on top. So I don't, I don't know. It parses a little bit weird. It's fine. Hey, Grandpa. Oh, hello, my love. If you've come to take me back, I'm not done with my tour yet, I'm afraid. <clears throat> no, I just thought I'd stop by and see how things were going. I worry about you in the heat. Fortunately, you're standing in the shade of a tree next to some water, which but, uh, helps mitigate the temp. Listen, what's the deal with this photo of you and Mary on the swing? Yes, well, Mary was a dear friend. We had some fun in this garden in our time. Is that it? I'm sure I don't know what you mean. Uh-huh. Alrighty, we didn't ask him. Right. Did you find anything out? So it's, have Regina ask him? What is with the hip cock of I thought death? we were going to ask. <clears throat> Grandpa and your great aunt were dear friends. Were dear friends. Were dear friends. I just, my grandma was an angel, you know? I can never forgive him if... If... Uh, I gotta do something with my hands. Let's check out the old staircase behind the flower garden. So this is one of those things that, I know the situation is awkward, but I like... It's really good to be explicit, being like, look, due to the way that this is set up, I feel like, based off the inf information that I'm getting from mm -hmm. this, I don't know what this is. Were you having an affair? You could just ask. Yeah. Like, if it's something emotionally important to you, and that's your grandpa who you love, just ask. Right. Be like, and, and he might get offended, or he might not. You might be surprised, and just be like, look... I don't really, it doesn't really matter either way, but for me, I want to know. Right. Hmm. All right, well, that We're going to go that on to restoring, the, the, removing the old stair? That's her. We haven't even talked about that oh, one God. yet, so we're going to do the birdhouse. Yep, because. We're going to do that birdhouse. Woo! All right, here we go. Well, that was certainly something. Asking about that photo. Yeah, talk about. Subtext? Again, I think maybe actually what they might be doing is that, I hate to say it, because most games are not going to approach or really go into we had an affair, this really probably is a scenario in which they're going to go, Aha! I fooled you! They were just good friends. Which is a good twist. Uh huh. But could also be. because I'm so used to it in some ways, it's kind of like you could have just said outright that they were just good friends. You it seems like unnecessary drama. Yeah, not made it suspicious. But I don't know. He as much admit as admitted he cheated on my grandma. No, he, he didn't. didn't really. Except for again, without vocal tone and how well they knew each other, we don't really know. I don't know. He did say the swan had lost his partner. Doesn't mean grandpa had. So maybe he's just talking about actually Mary being the swan. Maybe she lost her partner. I mean, maybe. I guess grandparents are just as complicated as the rest of us, huh? You mean like they're people? Oh look, we can both walk on water. Woo! We are sharing the miracle. <laughs> Woohoo! All right, give me a hand with this. I got this. I'll watch your fingers, Liz. N nope, I don't like gloves. Magic spells all the way. Here we go. La, 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 the little la, hands. La, 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 la. Birdacious. Birdacious. Wow. Looks like you're in good shape to repaint this. Oh no, we're How gonna do you want to paint it? it? And by painting it, I mean remodel it completely in any way you like. I'm also like, how do the swans fit in there? Uh. They, they are pretty big the birds, door. actually, but wow. Okay. I would have chosen a well, bigger door. Yeah, right? Well, I'm just going to go for a little walk to think and stuff. But yeah, swans do not usually nest See you guys inside later. of birdhouses. Yeah, they're they not. usually have an open nest. They really do. That's why I'm like, I. She's really hurt. We got to get to the bottom of this grandparent's potential, possible suspected romance thing. Uh huh. Aye, right, that's a thing. All right. All right, we're going to paint the birdhouse because... That's we all we've talked about. But she said we've got to get to the bottom of this, and we didn't get an option for it. I want my option to get to the bottom of things. Excuse me? And now you know the rest of, of the, the story. story. <clears throat> Miss Jones, what's your favorite color? Is it blue? The same as the socks I'm wearing. So, blue? Well, what color are your socks, then? They're rainbow, aren't they? Ooh, did you see that? A bass just jumped. Mr. Jones... Oh, another one. Eh, must be springtime, eh? It is. Just ignore him. It's I'm nice. just going to lean down and pull up the cuff of your pants, sir, and look at your socks. It's okay. Don't mind me. Excuse me, sir. Okay, I can take a hint. Intuition time. Huh. Oh, we're not going to remodel it. We are just going to paint it. Oh. I know. That would block the door even more, dude. Holy cow. Like, that blue one is right in front of the entrance. Like, Rude. Dude, this is fine. Because that one looks like it's going to break and wear out like the other one. It also looks like it's not finished. The white paint doesn't go all the way to the bottom. 
Strange. Hi. A little bit odd, those options. It's... It's fantastic. Wow. Woo! All right, there we go. Ah, perfect. What a lovely nesting spot for the swans. Five out of five hearts, Miss Roberts. So, can I keep the house yet? Seems like you really love this pond, Mr. Jones. I suppose I did. Can we get to the bottom of things yet? Because your granddaughter seems distressed. Did you ever go fishing here? Oh, yes. Once Mary caught my cheeky little fish hook while she was oh. ca- So I have oh. actually run into people who've gotten, like, clocked by- Oh! Ow. I'm sorry, I actually knew somebody who got, like, their nose caught. Ow. Like, oh, damn. Like, dude, talk about landing a big one. <laughs> I- you could ouch. say that one way or another. Ow. Damn, that shit hurts. Like, youch. I wonder if the old fishing equipment here is still in working. I it's don't. It's a tackle box. It's a giant tackle box. That's huge. Look at the enormous tackle box. Oh my god, fishing equipment. Find the tackle box. Tackle my box. I. Well, let's take a look. Let's have a look. Fishing rods, a net, lures. Hey, look! Another photo, sir! Ah. Uh, Just friends. Huh? I don't even know what it says. I don't either, but it looks like 79 on the bottom. Like, it's not loading. It is not. So this picture was taken in poor focus, and then somehow they matched it with their handwriting. It was great. Woo! Oh, there we go. 87. I, I mean, someone's still taking that picture, just so you know. Yeah, like Like, somebody... the meta is implying they're alone, but they are not alone. Someone's taking the picture. Aha, uh -huh, which is really weird and going, why would you frame this? Like, that seems strange. Or unless it wasn't a problem. Again, that one too. Everything all right, Miss Roberts? Oh, uh, yeah, the equipment is in great condition. Somehow. Say, Mr. Jones, would you like to go fishing? And maybe I'll ask you about these other two photos and tell you that you should really talk to your granddaughter? It has been quite some time since I've done that. Good, because I know you're going to loiter around all day anyway. We might as well do something mildly productive. Maybe we'll have a trout fry. Well, we'll need bait, of course. I imagine you could find plenty in the soil. Well, given that it's so moist now that it's because everything's green, it should be. I'm also just like, finding uh, worms sometimes isn't all that, that easy. Worms. And finding them better at night is actually more preferred or like... Night crawlers. Worms. They're night huge. Night crawlers. Dig for worms. Oh my god, we are really running Dig the ring for... just into a different corner. So this is like trying to ask a toddler about why they needed us to come into the room and them just telling you a story for 15 minutes around in a circle as to why about they... everything else Everything but... else but... Ah, here's a good spot. You go ahead, Miss Roberts. Need to rest the old legs a bit. Well, there we are. Use that bench. Gross little slimy weirdos. At least I can pull you out of the ground with magic. I mean, I don't know. Just the the repeated hand gesture, just the doo -doo 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 for everything. I know they have generic graphics for games and stuff. I'm just like in this particular context, it looks sort of silly. I will just summon the worms from the ground. The la, deep la. incantation. The thing is, is Lily possibly possibly Digimus, a Polius, Maximus. Oh, that was a really big worm. Damn. Oh, <laughs> whoops. You seem to be rather averse to earthworms, despite all the gardening, which would be a thing you would have run into beforehand, Miss Roberts, so I do not understand. Will you please care to elaborate? Except for I didn't necessarily touch the dirt, I was just raking and shoveling and yelling at things. Well, I mean, I pulled those weeds, but, you know, I... I wasn't looking for worms. Something about them just bothers me. Maybe I've known too many wormy guys. Aw, that's mean. Earthworms are friends. Earthworms are good. Good friends. I think this will be enough of them? Flap. And she... Here! A head full of worms, is that good enough? Yes, they'll do nicely. Prompt little fellows to be sure. That's good. Full of dirt. <laughs> full of poop. <laughs> that you hate. <laughs> All right. Let's go fishing with the slimy boys. I'll go see if Regina's all set for poop. Wait, is Regina going to fish with you? What? Are you going to have the three of you fish together? Hi. We better remove the staircase. For, we are. We're going to have to remove the staircase first. Because <laughs> we have to have her available uh -huh. to come fish with us yep. and try to rebond with her grandfather. We haven't even seen this staircase. So the fact that she's fixing it without us ever even addressing it at all. Also, she looks grumpy. I love that. Her animation looks grumpy. Going for it. Yep. How's it going over here? Oh, Hey, girlie. Looks like these stairs need to be completely removed and rebuilt. They That's not a surprise. They don't look like stairs. It looks like a weird little, like, walking bridge. I was going to be like, it looks like a roller coaster. 
To me, it looks it like a little tiny roller coaster. Broken roller coaster. So this is the gold rusher. So you know, since it you know collapsed. was decommissioned. Yeah. So one of my favorite roller coasters when I was a kid was actually called the Gold Rusher. I don't remember oh. if it was at Six Flags or which one it was because my dad took me to a lot of theme parks. Right. And it kind of all happened at once. Like we did a lot of theme parks, but like. Two different years of my childhood were just theme park summers. So it's not like we went all the time, but we did go to a wide diversity of them, and I've oh been to God. most of them once. Right. Anyway, there was one called the Gold Rush, and it was an old wooden roller coaster, and it was um, done at the same time they did, like, Viper, which was another roller coaster with seven loop de loos Oh, at yeah, the time. I think I remember that. And they yeah. advertised Viper being this like really crazy. big thing, like, amazing seven loops, this much G-force, blah, blah, blah. But the Gold Rusher was just super chill, no loops, a really fun visual tour of the park, and I love it. Nice. All right. Rebuilt completely. I mean, I meant you. How are you holding up? You need to be more self-centered like me. Just fixate on your problems for a second, dear. Ugh, I just keep thinking about my grandpa cheating on grandma. What was your grandma like? Or is she still around? I never knew her. Actually, I was really young when she died. She was a chef, chef from New Orleans. She met grandpa when he was visiting there for work. He ate at that restaurant she worked at, chatted her up after closing. Oh, that's cute. They hit it off, and he stayed there for an entire month instead of the three days he was supposed to be there. He's like, I'll just reschedule everything. It's fine. Hi, it's good. That's so romantic, especially based on my exposure to things so far, and I have never had anyone do something like that for me. Sure is. Maybe. I don't know. It's just kind of sad if Grandpa's a cheater. Stand back! Gonna remove the last parts now. Ooh, yeah, it goes wow, down that quite is a bit. Like a walkway. Damn. It's like a little bridge thing, and then like a staircase down. To, okay, the fact that this was never mentioned before until she ran off to fix it is a little bit wild and disorienting to me. But this is gonna open up a whole other environment of things to deal with. These grounds are freaking huge. Poof. Oh, well now it's just like a nice walkway. Okay, ready for the new stairs. <laughs> Not poof. Boom, my bad. Boom. Boom, okay. shaka So we're going to do the new staircase. Oh, we're going to go fishing like late in the evening and have like a longer cut scene. That's what oh, this is. Oh, maybe, maybe. That's what that looks like. I... Okay, Lils, stairs. What do you have in mind? Well, since I didn't even know they were here until oh, now... God. Whoa. Also, that looks like a lot of, like, actual functional garden beds over here. Like, dang. Like, dude, look at that. There's a well. Ooh. I, it's okay, no. but a little too rustic for everything else. That's uh, not bad, but it also looks like, like, the perspective, those stairs look like they're floating at the top. Like, it doesn't look like it actually goes <laughs> that high with there. the grass. Yeah. Those are so <laughs> ridiculous. With the rope. With the, right, the, the, yeah, the, the rope is going to fall apart. Possibly so fast unless you yeah. treat it super well. I'm also just like, the he, options he, he, on this actually seem really bad compared to everything else. They're not nearly as nervous. This one with no rails is great. We'll just watch everyone fall down it. I think this one's <clears> fine. I love accidents. This looks very resort. Like, you know, stararific. Stararific. Well, honey, you know, you're kind of pushing that a little far. Nope, I will rific everything. Hmm. What's this part of the property anyway? Ah, uh, heck if I know. I haven't even walked over here yet. I, whoa, that is, wow, that's like Dude. an extra, like, workhouse? It's, it's a studio. studio! It was Uncle Arthur's studio. He was an architect, but he painted, too. A renaissance man. No, it was abstract. More like Jackson Pollock. Oh. <laughs> Eat dirt, Jackson Pollock. <laughs> Get wrecked! <laughs> it was so funny. Yeah, Aunt Mary said that he had to give up drafting when he got old because of his hands. But he could still paint, so we spent a lot of time out there. Told you, splattering it on the canvas. Uh-huh. No fine lines for you. Ah, so much time he wouldn't notice his wife having an affair with her lawyer, huh? Ah, uh, ha, ha. Sorry, sorry, that was harsh. Just some things I can't tolerate, you know? Bad communication. Actually, that is a good thing to demand more out of your relationships, is I want more communication. You need to talk to your grandpa before you blow this whole thing out of proportion and find out what's really going on. Yeah, you're right. And it's okay to be sensitive and protective, but let's just let him have his say, but get him to also have it. Right. Come on, let's head back to the pond and sort this thing out and do some fishing. I already digged up all those goopy worms, so let's go use them. Digged em. up. I was digged up. <laughs> <laughs> digged up! <laughs> oh, yes, though I may need a hand getting in and out of the boat. Knees aren't what they used to be. It's okay, we're going to corner you in the boat and until you've spilled <laughs> everything. We will dunk you! <laughs> you cannot go is home. This, we're going to pull him up. This is Sparta. <laughs> This is, this is a fair adult, and 
is adultery. This is adultery. What Sorry. we're going to do is we're just going to hold you over the edge of the boat and say, speak or you'll walk the bank. <laughs> <laughs> speak or forever hold your peace. <laughs> or sleep with the, the fishes. fishes. Of course, Grandpa. All right, here we go. We're All right. We're going to find out the truth. Let's go see what this fishing. game is like. Like, how do they handle this kind of thing, and where are they going with this story? Because I'm like, you could go one of a couple of ways here. But again, someone's taking oh, those pictures. Lowercase, mister. Okay, mister. <laughs> Jones. <laughs> <laughs> mister Wonka. <laughs> okay, mister Jones. <laughs> boat is ready. Boat is, re boat is ready. <gasps> wow. You see, I didn't want to name it after my neighbor, so I named my boat Boat. Boat, boat is, is ready. ready. Boat is ready. I judged him for naming his dog Dog, but I have much clever names like Boat. So I named my boat Boat. And my house's name is House. <laughs> and my car's name is Car. And except for Mr. Bubbles, all the goldfish are named Fish. Oh, God. <laughs> Hello, um, Fish and Mr. Bubbles Jr. Splendid. Splendid. Ooh, oh, look it's at that. pretty. Why is the water green and mossy? We just cleaned, cleaned it all. What we just cleaned all of it. Why? Ah, it's been a dog age since I've been out on this water. It seems like it. Just as romantic as you remember, though, right? <laughs> with her. two other people. And you know, the sunset. Um, Mr. Jones? Yes? Please stop dodging and answer my goddamn... Were you and Aunt Mary a couple? Here, let me show you these other couple of pictures, which give us clear credence to be suspicious and uncomfortable about your relationship being just friends because it's not what we're used to. <clears throat> hmm. Yes, we were. Wow! What? How could you do that to Grandma? Oh, Regina, this was long after your grandmother passed. Mary and I befriended each other when she was dealing with Ar Ar Arthur's Alzheimer's. After he passed, we found out... Sorry, I'm kind of distracted going... The van he had a, we had a great many things in common. The biggest one was that we were very, very much in love with each other. That's kind of cute. They that had a later relationship. And Except I, that, doesn't that directly contradict where Regina went? That was when he was married to her grandmother? Well, and that's what I was going to say, is maybe she misremembered her dates. Maybe. who knows? Or maybe she didn't know when her grandmother, you know... She did also mention her grandmother died, died when, when she, she was, was very young. young. So she might know, not know the exact year it happened. She might just go, but they were married back then. Right. You know, back when I was a kid sometimes. And that sometimes happens. It so yeah, that was what I was thinking it was. Because I'm like, you know, both of them seem to be uh, widow types. Um, right. And so I was just like, that totally could happen. But... I suppose we might have remarried if we had been a bit younger. At our age, it was just too much fanfare. You know what that means? You can just go down to the courthouse and just go get the paper and sign it off and you're done. That's like, true. that's not a lot of fanfare. You they just... might not have even decided to live together, though. They might have just been like, we visit each other, we have our own space because we're very independent and we've already had this kind of a life, and we're just going to be together frequently. Yeah, that's like, fair. Like, people can do things very different ways. They depending. don't have to all look the same. Well, mm, there you have it. Uh... uh... I'm sorry I doubted you, Grandpa. Well, I certainly could have been a bit more straightforward about it. Yes, yes, you could have. Like, damn. Now I understand why this place means so much to you. Now I gotta ask, are you trying to extort my new friend here to force her to restore this because of your memories and nostalgia? Or is there actually a contract? No kidding. I know I'm not gonna be around forever, so I have to honor Mary's memory and her wishes while I can. Maybe that is her wish, then. Maybe. Grandpa. The little squinty eyes of, I can't tell if you're sad or suspicious or both. Yeah, it's I know. Sad, suspicious. Seditious? Sad, it's seditious. <laughs> <laughs> Which is totally, completely other oh, different God, way. Like, yes. wow. <clears throat> oh, I got a bite. Ha <laughs> ha. And so we immediately poofed dog! out the boat. The dog! The dog exists. Okay. Well, that was lovely. Thank you for doing that for me. There's a damn dog. Corey Thing, who took the pictures of you guys, by the way? I want to ask that question. Excuse me, sir. Sir, who the hell... Who took these pictures? Sure thing, Mr. Jones. And, and now you're back to being an uppercase, Jones. <laughs> yeah, now you're Mr. Now you're respectable again. You got your honor back. <laughs> right? <laughs> but you've still got plenty of work ahead of you. Don't get too comfortable, Miss Roberts. Because I will judge you like you never believe. Uh, and he, like, again. I know, uh -huh. I know. 24 days till Judgment Day and... The end of my world here, even though I've already done all of this work in good faith, nothing budges on that timeline. All right, my dear. Will you be my chauffeur? I... Didn't we come over here in separate cars? 
What do you want me to do about that, Grandpa? No, no, she knocked. Remember, they knocked on the door, so we actually don't know. So they can't, they might have come together. I think together. they already came they together, and he's just asking again. Okay, okay, that could be good. That's fair. Good point, my friend. Yep. Of course, Grandpa. See you later, Lils. I'm glad you feel better. It was great getting to know both of you a little bit more. Race you to the car. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's cute. Just, it's just too, I just can't go that fast. <laughs> <laughs> Aunt Mary. Aunt Mary, you old cougar. I love happy endings. But God, he a... must be mourning the loss of my aunt, too. And I didn't even acknowledge his grief at all, just like I didn't acknowledge my cousin's grief and the fact that he lost his mom, albeit his stepmom, but that doesn't mean it's any less sad. And I also just... his dad still, too, because that could bring up, you know, fresh uh -huh. memories. I'm not interacting with anyone else's loss but my own, and I get that can happen because I'm sad and I'm overwhelmed with work, but... Damn, do I feel a little insensitive in well, retrospect. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. Also, the fact that she calls her a cougar, so to me, I found that to be a little strange of, like, what's wrong with an older woman having a relationship at all? Like, this sort of weird desexualization of people who get to a certain age... Of older individuals. Yeah, is really weird. Like, I remember hearing, like, horror stories sometimes about people being like, oh my god, and so my, my grandparent, you know, my grandpa and my grandma, they were in a home, and they had a relationship, and it was just so terrible, and it's like, why? Why? If they still want each other physically as well as mentally, you know, emotionally, done. Yeah, That's I'm it. like, there's this weird possession of going like, once you get older, it's, well, it's gross. I don't want to think about it. Or it's, it's, like, it's this weird sort of hypersexual, semi-predatory, a cougar. They're going to come right? get you. Well, that's the thing. I'm like, why did she freaking call her a cougar? She was maybe just like kind of lonely. I don't Or just or... going, like, I was happy in my life and I ran across somebody else, like he said, of going, we had a lot in common. We'd been friends before. Yeah. And then once we hadn't, suddenly were both available, we realized that more than friends was totally a thing. Right. All right. Speaking of happy endings, I sure hope Luke's okay. Haven't seen him all day, and I hadn't seen you for a day and a half. Where have you been, you dork? Dog. Bow. Here we go. <laughs> Bow. Bow. Bah, ow, ah. ow, ow, yeah, you're right. Time to go to bed. You must have been running away all day, and since uh. you're not fixed, as your owner says, you could have been real busy. Real busy. All right, guys. Well, this has been quite the episode. Um, I was expecting to do a couple of days, but we just got through one day because that was a lot to unpack, actually, as well as running through his particular dialogue, Mr. Jones. Um, thanks for joining us. And, uh, oh... I am really grateful that this game actually has some positive messages. Like, amongst the other things and some of its tropiness or insensitivity or oversights, it actually does have some pretty cool things about it. And that was pretty cute, even if the characters didn't react to it in, you know, what might be considered an optimum way. Right. This has been Scandal. And I have been Lies. And, and it, it was great playing, playing with you. you. Bye!